All right, let's hop on the other side. Tyler Heineke plays, you know, a pretty good, pretty Taylor. Uh, yeah, Taylor Heineke. Um, Taylor plays plays a pretty decent game. Twenty thirty three, two hundred one yards. And just it's that second half, bro. He's just a gamer. He is. Know? He's a gamer. He just finds a way. <laughs> Early Taylor Heineke, strong. I don't know if it'll keep up, but he had them boys. He, what you did know was that he likes Terry McLaurin. Right. I said that earlier. And he, I, I, Terry looked good. Terry was energized. Terry was fired the fuck up on the sidelines. Like, what a Terry, novel idea throwing the ball to Terry McLaurin. Right. He prevented a pick, a bad throw by Heineke, and Taylor, or, uh, McLaurin came over and, like, played defense and then came back and played a, made a miraculous grab to seal that game at the end. Just loving some Terry McLaurin. Yeah. Fired him up in one the one league I have him in because I was like, God, ah, it's also start three wide receivers, and I just lost Marquise, and I was like, God, ah, Taylor Heineke, let's go. So Terry, Played well last Terry year, Terry might have been out of the lineup for the last week or two for you. Is he back in now? If you have him, I mean, you got to. I think I was still, yeah. If you have a better was, option, I, I think mean, I was still starting him based on they don't really have any other options. Yeah. All right. Um, so I mean, uh, if you look, I mean, if you're looking at the target share here, McLaurin, has been McLaurin out. had eight, Samuel had eight, nobody else had more than four, and it was Gibson. Yeah, no, no Logan Thomas, mm, Gibson, no, uh, yeah, no Dotson, like you said, um, yeah. the Diami Brown play, no, yeah, um, so not a whole lot of options. Um, you had Dax Milner, Cam Sims, and Armani Rogers. He's mm-hmm. a tight end, Manny Rogers. Who's this imposter? Um, so then we have the running back situation for the commanders. Gross. Gross? Yeah. Maybe some diamonds in the rough there. Very some, interesting. Some it's diamonds? not fun to start them. All right. So unpack that a little bit. What are you talking about? I just don't feel like anyone's like Robinson's getting the carries, but Gibson's getting still getting like short yardage work there. And then you throw in McKissick, who's still playing. He's still playing on t- the two minute drills. So I just. No targets for McKissick, it didn't look like on here. Uh, he had two. Where do you see that? Oh, okay. Yeah, at the bottom. Gotcha. Um, I just don't. I just don't know who. I, like, like, I don't. I don't even start any of them. Are you starting any of them with confidence? It's uh, a, it's a, they're they're running max, you know. It's, it's so you might have to start Gibson or J Rob, yeah. right? A guy that just B-Rob. a guy that just uh, you're a professional. Did yeah. I say J Rob? Yeah. yeah. B Rob. Jeez, sorry, Brian. Incredible story. Shout out to Brian Robinson. Uh, you might have to start a guy that's getting what is it? Twenty one carries, twenty carries, something yeah. like that. Twenty one. Twenty one carries, which. You know, it didn't look – it looked like he looked in Alabama to me. Like, he was never, like, special at Alabama. Yeah. But he got the job done. He got what was blocked. He got a couple extra. He falls forward. He's a gamer. He catches anything that's thrown to him. And he he just does what you need a guy to do. I'm just he's worried about what's being blocked. He's <laughs> nothing special. Well, it, but it looked good. Like, they – like they, it was a fun-looking offense. They got Curtis Samuel involved in the backfield. They had yeah. some misdirection. Heineke extended some drives. It took to the second half, right? It I think wasn't Heineke, like a barrage of points. I think Heineke makes the offense a little more interesting with his, with his mobility. And, and he'll take shots. He'll take chances. And so it, it looked – I actually didn't hate what I saw from them offensively, especially in that second half. And it's not like the Packers are a slouch defensive team, and you know, I when you're watching red zone, it was just Gibson popping off, Gibson yeah. popping off. It didn't, you didn't. There was a pretty good. There was like one good run by Brian Robinson where it was it was nicely blocked, and he got the edge, and then he took like four defenders with him for an extra five to eight yards. You gotta like what you see from Brian Robinson, but I think you really gotta like what you see from Antonio Gibson, and. Because he just looks so explosive, and they're finally like using him a little bit more. They threw yeah. him the ball. Yeah. He made a spectacular catch in the end zone for he the had touchdown. The touchdown. Yeah, like he was getting some some red zone work and taking like two minute drill work and and passing downs away from McKissick. Like fucking finally get McKissick out of my fucking yeah. life already. Yeah, I think right and now it's, it's going to be a headache. I'm with you. It's not that fun to be like, oh, I want one of these guys so I can start him. But like nobody on the red 
commanders are you like, oh, I want to get that guy and start him. Yeah. Right? Even Dotson, but like or McLaurin. But like they're good players. And we're yeah. playing Dynasty here. Yeah. And so I am down to get the good player in not a necessarily great situation and just just have him. You know, I'm not saying the I do think you should trade for Antonio Gibson. I don't know. We should definitely talk about what, what you should do with James or Brian Robinson. Because he's the one that everyone cares about. Nobody cares about Antonio Gibson. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck yeah. that he just crushed, that he did well with the touches that he got. For some reason, they just hate Antonio Gibson. Yeah, I mean, and they I mean, want Brian Robinson to be the best thing ever. I mean, if you can give me ten to twelve carries a week for Gibson and four to five catches, I mean, that's a that's probably a, that's probably worth putting him in your flex spot. Oh, for sure, because he's gonna average a good return with those touches like yeah. he just looks so fucking good with the ball in his hands it's yeah. it's a different type of player with gibson and brian robinson like brian robinson is a good player gibson has raw untapped ridiculous talent it's yeah. not even close in my opinion that gibson pops off the fucking page that dude's a fucking yeah stud. i think robinson's more of your traditional running back but gibson's more of your new age can can make things happen in, in the passing game more than robinson can and, and he's a little bit more Twitchy, he's quicker. And he can do play, more. He after played catch. wide receiver, basically. Yeah, in I mean, you, yeah, for sure. Which Brian Robinson is no slouch in the receiving game, and I think but that's he's not why Gibson, people yeah. like him is because yeah. he did catch a fair amount of balls at, at Alabama and was pretty good in the passing game. But Brian Robinson is the guy on everyone's mouth. That's the guy that everybody wants to be the guy. They they want him to be the man to take over, and they're seeing the carries that he's getting, and he's he's the hot. He's the hot topic right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, you when you get when you're getting 20 carries for the last basically two games, essentially, yeah. you know that that's gonna that's they're gonna, coming back from getting shot in the leg multiple right. times. That's gonna raise some eyebrows. I, I played Robinson this week over McCaffrey because I just didn't know what I was gonna get from McCaffrey, and that was my my other option. That's fair. Um, and it did work out by two points, I think, but you know, no victory laps here for that. Um, <laughs> He had a nice touchdown. We don't right? want hollow victory laps. Um, so we want dense, <laughs> dense victory laps. Girth, girthy victory laps. <laughs> Dick, like Talladega, like victory laps. Big wide track. I don't want short track. None of that Bristol stuff. I want Pocono. <laughs> Pocono. The tri the tricky, the tricky triangle, Bo. Um, I do love. I do love something Pocono. But. Brian Robinson hasn't like I think Jason hit it pretty well. I mean, he hasn't looked great, but he hasn't looked terrible. I, I, He's looked like a rookie. I got to give him the benefit of the doubt here. I would say I'd be looking to move off if I could. Yeah, I'm not looking to move. I'm were. not looking to. Move. I don't know that I'm looking to move on him or off him. I think I'm just kind of seeing where the dust settles, think, and bit. that's okay. Like, I, I, you know, obviously, especially if you drafted him where he was going at the beginning part of the rookie season, the end of the second. Yeah. Maybe early third, now where he even, was going back into the first round, I'm no panicking a little bit. There. For sure. You don't you shouldn't have been doing that. And that was your own fault. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't have done that. That was silly. Um, I thought maybe you, big, you would. You big Philly goose. Thought maybe you would have learned from Trey Sermons and the and the Michael Carter. Don't force it up in there. They just let it be. Let somebody else do that. Um, but yeah. So if you paid that price, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. If you paid that price, would you get out for something less right now, or are you just gonna hold? Depends on that less is. I mean, like a two. It'd have to be a pretty early two, yeah. but no one's given that right now. So no. I'm just gonna probably hold. Yeah, I mean, the the thought process with Brian Robinson for me is, is I think that's a good point. Like you know, we're 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 do, we're doing a show. You gotta. You're saying, would you buy you sell? Have an you gotta have an opinion, and I think it's okay to just be kind of yeah. In the, it's okay to be in the middle sometimes. Sitting here just saying, to breathe. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I do agree with you on the Gibson stuff. I mean, it seems it seems counterintuitive to say to buy Antonio Gibson because there is a whole other year of him and Brian Robinson. But and that's what you were doing. Is the contract? He's got another year there. In well, Washington. he he does. I was checking on JD McKissick, and it's just like JD McKissick just doesn't. He just got resigned. Yeah, he did, but there's a, he's yeah, he, he's got they can get rid he's of him. He's on the way out. They can get rid of him with 2 million dead oh, next year. That nothing. neat little pie chart thing for, from PFF was showing McKissick on the way out. Right. But and and I mean, maybe they just they, one throwing it to Gibson. Maybe they bring it back, bring him back a little uh, for one more year cuz he's pretty cheap, but it's just like yeah. this this is how you should be playing. 
it's a, like if you don't want to give and maybe Antonio Gibson isn't the quote unquote necessarily the workhorse because he, he hasn't shown an ability to necessarily stay healthy or not fumble. Um, let's show the same energy. I think Brian Robinson fumbled uh, this week. Um, see the Ron Rivera show that same energy for Brian Robinson. He won't. Um, he will not. Um, those terrible fucking glasses. There's nothing I hate worse than. I think Gibson's just trying not to get fired. Glasses that tint when you walk inside. Outside? Oh, yeah, outside. The, the, oh, the, old, the old transition lenses? Absolute just square transition <laughs> lenses. Get out of my face. Why do you hate those? Just what That's a, a Daryl. No one should wear transition what lenses. What a Daryl. Get some fucking sunglasses. Those are terrible. Exactly. Get some prescription. You, you make you make glasses? You make several million dollars a year. You can't buy some fucking prescription sunglasses. You're the worst glasses ever on the sideline. Do you, either of you guys wear glasses or No, contacts? no. I'm a man. I don't wear glasses. Yeah. What do you mean? I just, just fucking wear, squint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you? They tried need to give contacts? me glasses. They get the fuck out of no, here. No, I don't need contacts. I don't know if y'all can speak on people who wear glasses. Yeah, I 100% can. I can exactly tell don't you how I feel glasses. about what it looks like on their fucking face. I'm not. A, I don't have a problem wearing the glasses. I don't like. I'm with Casey. I don't like the frames and definitely no transition lenses. Yeah. If Get you're some mad about the frames, look, that's fine. But like the transition, maybe it. Get out of here with it, the transition. Until you live that life, how you, you know? You judge? know who wears transitions? Fucking fifty-year-old weird fucking dads. That's, That's who wears who transition. Fucking Ron fucking Rivera lens. is. He makes several million dollars a year. Just get some fucking Prescri- sunglasses or yeah. wear regular glasses who on the sideline. Who wants side to line. carry around two pairs how many, of glasses? How, first of all, you can wear how, prescription sunglasses. First of all, how many fucking coaches wear sunglasses on the fucking sideline? Wear some regular goddamn glasses. Maybe he's sensitive eyes, man. You just don't you don't know. Wow, get out of here, this fucking guy. You don't wear glasses. I don't know if you can you judge. You can absolutely man. judge somebody on wearing <laughs> what, what, fucking glasses. What, what, what's next? Those old lady sunglasses. Yeah, he's that got a puts, fucking that puts over his glasses. Ra- fucking rack of pearls as his. He should. I would fuck fuck y'all. Fuck, fuck the haters. Those like super dark, which I don't know how they see shit Flip out of that them. bitch up. Oh, I'd, dude! If he wore the now, way fucking wait. If he wore the flip-ups, he'd be a fucking G exactly. for wearing the fucking flip-ups. Exactly. Oh, exactly. that's acceptable. He'd be a those. fucking G for okay. the flip-ups, just flipping All those right. bad boys up and flipping them down. What a like I'm giving really somebody idiots. the stink eye, flipping those things up. <laughs> exactly. Bang! Right back down. Exactly. No, you gotta pull them down. That's that's a way more gangster move to pull them down and be like, nah, but. Till you wear glasses, get, get out of st- here. This is such a, this is the dumbest comp thing you've ever said. Till I wear glasses, I can't co- say whether or not I think transition lenses stink or not. This is the dumbest shit ever. Get out of here. Try a pair on, maybe you like them. No, I won't. They're dumb. They look ridiculous. I would never wear something that looks that ridiculous. The only, the only thing dumb about the only thing terrible about them is that it takes a minute for them to transition. They look. Absolutely horrible. You're just mad at the frames, not the transition. Oh, no, I'm, I hate tra- transition. Is the there? It's a little bit of both. I have never met a guy who's like not the weirdest guy in the room who doesn't wear fucking transition fucking glasses. Every time. Never sounds like a over overreach. What's that? Never. Never. No. Always the weirdest guy. Always. It's, 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 never. It's betting the better's odds is weirdest guys wearing the transitions. All right, we're losing listeners. Let's move on. It's fine. Now you know how it feels. Um, After a five minute conversation about Ron Rivera's transitional, they're lenses. terrible. Get rid That's of them. That's what people are tuning in for, for sure. Um, but I do. I do think there's there's some some buy in Gibson, and I think if you can use these two backs like. Maybe they had the idea of using them as, and as we saw this week, you know, don't put so much on Heineke. Don't put so much on anything. Let let your two pretty good players here, one guy do one thing, one guy do the other. Gibson looks plenty more explosive, and if you're going to keep him in this role and he's going to keep being productive, then uh, there's no reason to not try to buy him a little bit. Like you said, the, the, the public perception of, of Gibson is, is certainly down. It's, it's probably not going to garner too, too much more respect moving forward unless he keeps up what he's doing which would probably have to be you know touchdowns um to be really propping his value up for anybody to really take notice and care but i think there is a little bit of a window here and i I know some people probably won't like that but i'm I'm okay buying into the talent of of gibson and and riding it out for another year right now um i mean it's not a good week he just yeah he just he just had a, a nice week and he you know but I mean, I'm going to try to get him for, you know, like a, a mid two, 
Oh, I would definitely pay that. I'll, I'll pay the two all day long. I thought I'd have to add a little bit of that to there. I mean, yeah, obviously this week, maybe somebody's, you know, goes week to week here. Um, yeah. But, you know, I'd, I'd definitely, uh, I'd definitely be intrigued on what the price tag is for Gibson. If it was a two, I'm, I'm interested. Sure. I don't even know if you had to pay a two for Gibson at this point. Really? Uh, you, you can't get him for the three, but like you probably can like a three and another player or something like def like late two ought to, ought to do it. I mean, I don't think who all right. People yeah. fucking hate him. Yeah. Fair enough. Now it's not a good week. You just had uh, you said sixteen points, you know. All right, where you guys want to go next? 